I have really had a hard week. I have to be honest with you. So many things went wrong. We did an entire project using lots of technology. And when the technology didn't work, the entire project had to be shut down. I was flying to a city on the East Coast, and it was when United and Continental kind of merged and got together that, on that big day, and all the flights were delayed. When I got to my uh, spot where I was going to be uh, picked up, there was no driver. Uh, I had to figure things out. What I'm saying is many times in life, things don't go your way, and you need a plan B. As a baby boomer, baby boomers, you know about plan B. We, we know Murphy's Law. We were raised with Murphy's Law. And Murphy's Law is what could go wrong will go wrong. So get a plan B. For many of us, we have a plan B, a plan C, a plan D, because we know things can go wrong. But that, this younger workforce, they've never really heard of a plan B. And so when things go wrong, oh, we freak out, we shut down. And so today my talk is really about thinking more about what could go wrong and what we do when things don't work out perfectly. Because many times that plan B is better than your plan A. Many times thoughts that we have that really, we haven't really materialized on paper, but when they come into fruition, they become genius. So my thought for the day is think about your life. Think about things that are going on, plan ahead, and sometimes think that something actually could go, that shoe could drop and get a plan B. Thanks everybody, I'm Kara McCullough and I'll talk to you later. Yeah.